Hello everybody, this is Ale Geek Dad here. I'm just gonna go over how to fix a Dell 23 um, computer. It's an all-in-one. And um, I'll leave all the description of the computer in the show notes. And uh, that way you can fix yours. Anyways, my hard drive crashed. And um, just uh, doing some research and looking online. I did see uh, another couple of YouTube videos about how to fix it, and then I look at it, it's a different computer, but it says it's the same one. So anyways, I'll do this one. Uh, this one has been the easiest one I've ever worked on. Um, basically, you need a flathead screwdriver. It says you need other other screwdrivers, but I found you didn't need any, any other tools. In fact, there's not even no screws to undo. So anyways, I'll just uh, go step by step on what I did. And this is what I bought to replace. Um, the one that's in it is exactly the same one. It's a uh, Western Digital Laptop inter internal hard drive. Uh, one terabyte, 5400 speed. Anyways, that's what I'm gonna be putting back in this one. Um, and again, this is very simple. Uh, to take off this back cover here, um, all you do is just um, literally push the button and lift up, and it comes right off. And then you got two little tabs on the side here. They're just, and all you got to do is just push them to the outside, and that unlocks the back from the computer. And then you just take a flathead screwdriver. And from the CD side, it says to lift up and just pry open the case. And it literally just pops right up. And, and then you do it from this other side. You may need the screwdriver again. And you just pop it until it pops open. Let me get this out of the way. Find a place to stick the screwdriver in. Give it a little pop. And that one's up, that one's up, and it's off. Okay, and then you're inside your computer. Uh, also, um, I recommend getting some air and just blowing it all out before you put it back together. And also, get a battery this one here takes the um, 2032 and you'll want to replace that while you have it open and blow off the fans and all that kind of stuff um, and then you'll need your screwdriver again and this is where the hard drive is at and you just push down this little tab and then slide it open and However, you can get it to slide open. It's pretty simple. It came right off when I did it. And it comes right off. And then you have access. Also, if you want to change memory, you can just pop these out. And all you got to do is just um, uh, push the sliders open and then pull the memory out. And you can do that also. And here's the hard drive. Again, very simple. Literally, you just got to push down this tab as it, it even has a little button for you and slide and take it right out and then you'll want to just open up your new one brand spanking new actually pretty cheap on Amazon it's like less than 70 bucks and I'll leave a link in the show notes to where you can get this same one you can also get the uh, SSD or the faster one, the 7200, for a little bit more. When I got this one, they didn't have the faster one in stock when I bought it, so I just bought the same exact one. And the computer's older, so I didn't want to switch to the more expensive SSD. So I just got, again, the same exact um, hard drive. Okay, instructions, 
safety for the hard drive. Uh, a plastic pack. Nice and sealed. Again for safety. And just pop it open. And again, I had no screws or anything. It does look a little bit different, but it's identical. Just the labeling's different. This one's March of 2017 and this is 2014. Okay, and then you just take these little guys and pop them right off. Simple as that. Again, this has been the easiest computer I've ever had to work on, which is pretty nice for a change. And you don't need any tools. And it's back, back again in place. And you just line it up with your tabs. Upside down. It's upside down. Okay. Yeah, it's back. It's in backwards. Okay. And that goes there. Yeah. So your little push button has the um, where the uh, motor or the uh, hard drive plugs in, just so you remember. And it just pops right back on there. Get in there. Get in there. And then it just pops right back on there. And you just push down on that. And lock it back into place. Simple, simple. And again, I'm going to change the battery out since I'm here. Looks like it's one battery. Have to worry about the battery not working later. Having to do it again. And that battery just pops right out. At least it should. Yeah, it pops right out. This one pop right back in. Perfect. Okay, and that's it for changing the hard drive. Again, you can change the memory or add memory if you want to. I uh, don't need to. And then you just do everything in reverse order. This slides back down. Just put that back on there. And just see your tabs where they are lined up. Push down on that. And slide it back into place until it clicks in and it's underneath nope that's on top we gotta go back and push that one back down a little bit okay make sure your tabs are there 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 perfect and locked okay it's locked back in hard drive all that stuff okay let's get the lid back on and that's pretty much it put the lid back on and then we're gonna put this case back on top of the computer has the Dell facing up and then you just line up the little pins Just do it in reverse order. Easy, 
easy. I gotta have to reinstall operating system and everything. Okay. Pull it back in. Okay, and then you put your locking clamps back on. Just slide them back inward, and that locks it back to the case, and you're done. And that's it. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, just leave a comment, and I'll see if I can answer it. And uh, also look in the show notes for all the links to the products that I use to um, add to the computer. Again, hope it helped. Thank you. Al Geek Dad out. Bye-bye.